<laughs> Just about a week ago, I did a video of trying to learn the React framework in one day. Now I realize that React. Um, so I wanted to make a full, full blown website, right? Like with database and everything. And React only takes care of the front end. Welcome to learning the whole React framework in a single city. In this episode, I'll be seeing how far can I go. How far can I go about learning a whole framework in just what a city or just like nine hours? Yeah, so I'll see you at uh, ten o'clock. Hello, this is Andrew Chen from the future. About eight days or nine days away from uh, the person you're seeing in the video right now. And I recall that the first day I was trying to learn React, it was pretty hard because of my lack of experience in JavaScript. And therefore I soon uh, realized I need to catch up on JavaScript because I don't know anything about the error functions. And there was a lot of error functions, right? When we use the thing called dot map, with we're putting a parameter and we're using the error function to return something which is something I don't know about uh, I read more about the documentation I believe that the react documentation is really beautiful too kind of like Django's and Django's is one of the best documentations ever Django has one of the best documentations ever soon enough you know I was like maybe I should build a little bit of application because I realized that I am both a uh, building to learn person and a reading documentation to learn person. So I built a little counter app that works basically uh, on a button click you're going to set the state to uh, count equals to count plus one and then in your actual render component you're going to render the count and therefore every time you click you're going to get a uh, increase in the number of counts. And that's what I mean. You can't see it right now because it's in the monitor, but yeah. So I'm on day two of the React framework grind. I realized that Django might not completely get the job done. First of all, because um, I think we'll be using a lot of data representation like beautiful data which means we're going to use d3 since it has a lot of good uh built-in libraries and i mean user creator libraries so uh yeah right now i'm learning react it has been pretty hard so far but let's continue to grind on that Hey, what's up guys? I woke up a little bit late today. It's already 12.27 p.m. I'm gonna continue to learn React by downloading a few projects that other people make, made, and uh, let me see what's up. 
so it's another day of the grind and in this one i think i had to revisit the basics like i didn't know what json was but i'm working with javascript so i had to know what json was uh ended up watching a travis travisy media crash course it's absolutely awesome wait first let the beat drop yeah, anyways, uh, you know, if you're a beginner like me too, I suggest you to watch the Traversy media videos, especially the one that's talking about, you know, what, what skills you need to learn as a 2019 developer. Uh, he gives advices all the way from the front end to the back end to the databases that you should use. He even mentions like prototyping software such as Photoshop, Dreamweaver, I don't know if he mentioned that, and uh, even WordPress. So really cool To be honest, I'm pretty tired today. Um, I don't think the CSS file is working. Yeah, I'll just wrap this up tomorrow. Unfortunately, there is no day seven footage because I lost it somewhere. But I'm still happy to show you guys what I made over the past week. And here it is. You can see here that we have like let me refresh this to give a little surprise here. Um, we see that we have like five objects and then if we type in something that is gonna filter them. Cool part about it is that I implemented, holy God. I implemented a little bit of a D3 bubble charts element so that if we filter, it's actually gonna filter down. Uh, the only problem right now is that I didn't do D3.remove which will remove the element and then render it so that we don't have this like repeating thing going on. Hey guys, welcome back after seven days. Thank you for making it this far, or uh, if you skipped to the end, thank you so much too for clicking on this video. I want to say that the seven days has been an absolutely awesome experience because of how much I was just able to sit my foot down and learn. The front end can send uh, commands to the back end and the back end will, will uh, use access to send a post request or something like that and then create an object in the database. Now, I'm gonna stop talking about me for a second and just talk about you. If you're a beginner out there like me, I still consider myself a beginner, of course, and you want to start web development and you don't know where to start, um, I suggest you to just uh, sit your butt down and just start. Like, you don't even need to plan out the best path because uh, I think in a lot of times in my videos, I said I was going to do a certain type of things, but it turns out I didn't do anything like that. So yeah, just just, just roll with it, honestly. And yeah, just grind through it. It's going to be a lot to learn. I learned about four to five languages or four to five libraries this week. And yeah, just carry on and do your best. Have a nice one.